Hello guys, Fear Four Three Eight here. Welcome to another episode of Pikmin Three. In the last episode, we discovered the distant tundra. We didn't discover it; we explored it a little bit. We got yellow Pikmin. We did a couple. We discovered a couple of mechanics that we hadn't discovered before, and um, we realized that Charlie is probably here. And in this episode going to be going back into the distant tundra. Oh yeah, we also reunited with Britain in the last episode. So, this tip actually says before you start exploring, look at the cop pad to plan your day. It's not a bad idea. I don't really do that much. I'm just going to get out pretty much all our Pikmin. Fill up the field completely. I'm gonna throw our yellows at this gate. Guess we could also raise up some more Pikmin, I don't know. Oh, whoops. Eh, nah, fuck it. We don't have enough yellows on that, on that thing. Okay, so here we are. That gate's finally broken down. And I think it's actually worth going over here. Because if you actually do that, you go across this old bridge here, we find a joust might. A rock pick one will take care of him though. Ah, I don't know. He can't let his tongue get us. We got a data file over there. So actually, if we look over here. Whoops. Oh wait, we have to let them carry it first. Look at that. This thing looks so familiar. I need to get back to the Drake so I can analyze it. Man, I need to put more emphasis in my voice. What the hell? Let's also get some more Pikmin over there. Because we want to take out this bastard here. Oh wait. Fucking thing, he's fucking things up. Fuck. Oh, wait, actually, we're gonna have them break this thing of a uh, climbing stick. Never actually knew that that had an official name. Oh, yeah, if you hit a uh, swooping stitch bug with a rock victim, by the way, it'll bring them straight down to earth. Analyzing. Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. Dodge whistle. This is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to a regular whistle. This is a great way to customize my spacesuit. Wow, there's even a manual with it. Let's save it in the exploration notes. Using the dodge whistle, press left or right on the D-pad to make your Pikmin roll in that direction. Perfect, I'll be able to dodge a few more attacks with this. So what the dodge whistle does, it's basically what its name implies. Um, it lets you dodge attacks by doing that with the D-pad. Left or right will do. Either one. I don't really use it that much. I sh I'm gonna tr maybe I'll try to use it more in this let's play. But I haven't really. I, I've never really found myself using it all that much. Be one to be honest. If I, if, 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 to, to be completely honest. Fucking hell! Why can't I speak in these videos? Holy shit, man. Okay, let's get these. Those grapes. These, these, those grapes here will actually work the same way with the um, bridge parts. So we want to keep that in mind. Oh, let's get this data file. So 
swooping snitch bug. Score a direct hit with a rock that can then bring it down to earth. Okay, I explained that to you guys. But it's always good to have a reminder, you know. A reminder doesn't hurt. Even though I always get pissed off whenever whenever someone reminds me something now. I don't know why that is. Maybe I have too much confidence in my memory or something. But like the thing is about that is like my memory is nowhere near as good as it used to be. Like I still my memory is still sort of good. Like it's not it's not like complete shit or anything like you know how like when people get old they they sometimes can't remember stuff. It's not like that or anything. Oh, let's get some of these. This is a burgeoning spider wart. They should look familiar to you guys if you play Pikmin 2. Oh wait, hold on. Let's kill this bastard. Who's gonna eat us with your tongue? You kill him. Wait, where's that guy? Oh, he went back. He went all the way back there. The Drake is calling us. Thought it was an incoming message from the Drake. Commencing analysis of recovered plants. Ultra spicy berry. Large amounts of ultra spicy essence detected. Un unsuitable for consumption by crew members. Hmm, but perhaps it could be useful some other way. Let's collect some more of it and see. So let's have them bring back these yellow pickmen. I don't know what we're really doing today. I guess we could raise up stuff. I guess we could, like, get some fruits. Guys, you gotta be fucking. Usually they go get that thing. Get down here, Bob. Don't think I forgot about you. Actually, Bob is technically a flower, because he was not in the ground. Guys, the hell. Okay, I don't know what the deal with that is. Come back here. Okay, he did come back. Let's get some of these, because why not? Fucking hell, it's almost, half the day is almost done. I mean, we need to get stuff done, man. We need to do stuff with the plot, you know? Can't just be fucking around. We should also throw some story element stuff in there, too. I'm leaving all my Pikmin in the dust here. Or the snow, if you will. Let's go up this old geyser here. Let's actually switch to Brittany. She's got fucking nothing. Oh, never mind. So, as you can see, there's this kind of puzzle, I guess you could call it. But we don't have Alf, Alf with us as of right now. I just called him Al. Holy jeez. I mean, what is it with me, man? I just cannot talk today for some reason. And I technically am still recording this on the day of the, of the ban list. The, new, the day where the new ban list starts. Which is the same day I recorded the first few episodes. So yeah, it's still today where I can't talk for some reason. Switch over to Alf here. Half the day's almost over. Oh, and look, we need another captain to actually get up here. But we can collect this cherry here, which you know from last game. From the last game, it was called Cupid's Grenade. So the yellow Pikmin are digging this thing up pretty quickly. Analyzing. an incoming transmission from the Drake. Sufficient nectar gathered. 
On some plants, this nectar is used as a pick-me-up spray. Using Ultra Spicy Spray. Press up to use an Ultra Spicy Spray and invigorate the Pikmin in your squad. Ultra Spicy Nectar can also be obtained from sources other than berries. Explorers can collect it directly when they find it. Using Ultra Spicy Nectar. Explo Explorers automatically cl collect Ultra Spicy Nectar when they find it. I wonder what will happen if I press up to apply to my Pikmin squad. So yes, we have Ultra Spicy Spray. We have an Ultra Spicy Spray with us. Now I should mention something about sprays. Some of you Pikmin 2 fans that, are, that love nostalgia will be sad to hear this, but unfortunately they removed Ultra Bitter Sprays. So they're not in this game anymore. I kind of found that a little disappointing, but you know, it's alright. I mean, you do fine without them, really. I guess maybe they removed them because they were kind of overpowered or something. I mean, sure, they raise the enemy's defense, but they stop it from moving completely. The spray, of course. I'm just going to get that back. Hold on, there's a whole squad of picking that. Oh, they're doing that. Okay, well, we'll have them carry stuff back. Uh, it takes 10 berries to get a full Ultra Spicy Spray. So keep that in mind if you're trying to grind them up. They all, Pikmin will also work with uh, the Ultra with the ultra Spicy Berries like they do with Nectar. Or not Nectar, sorry. Um, with Bridge Parts and Grapes. Okay, hold on. This is a terrible idea. What was I doing? We have to get both of our captains up here. Oh, uh, you know, we probably need a... Th okay, we need Captain Charlie to do that, yeah. Yeah, spoilers, you get three cat. No, I've already done that. Well, we can probably get that now. Let's try to do that. So what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to try to get the, a data file. That is over there. Now let me just see if I can throw out. Okay, we did it. We collect this. Secret file 6. Now this is something that we've just discovered as right now. Those are called secret files. Basically, there are 10 of them in the game. There are two in each area. So spoilers, there are five areas. Oh, jeez. Spoiling a lot of stuff. Let's just kill this bastard. They're all dead. Fuck. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You fuck kill him. Okay, there we go. Use them as a corpse to get some more yellows. So, uh, yeah, yellow, oh wait, hold on, yellow, Pelopogi, after a pellet has been harvested, another one will eventually grow in its place. That's, bas that's basically self-explanatory. So, what the secret files do is, they unlock a code on Nintendo's website, I think it is, on like a Pikmin 3 page, and you can watch a video containing something in it. I will be getting all the secret files, so I'm, I will try to show you the video. Maybe I'll even show all the videos, actually. Actually, why would I do that? You just watch the video directly on, you just watch the videos directly on YouTube. So, I mean, the secret files aren't really that worth it, but I feel like I should get them for completion's sake. I've never gotten all the secret files before. But I will I will try to do it in this let's play. Guys, get off that tree. Damn it, where the hell is that one pick one that we're missing?
Someone's gonna die tonight. Holy jeez. Like in the game, though. Fucking hell, I can't find him. Oh, he's on the bridge? How the hell did he get there? Oh, there. Okay, so what we can, what we can try to do is... We'll get more stuff done tomorrow, I promise. But what we can do now is... We got that kiwi. That, if you remember. So we'll get... We'll collect that. So hopefully we can get back with this in time. I didn't go over what the Ultra Spicy Spray does. Well, basically what it does is it increases your Pikmin's attack, attack strength and it increases their speed. So it can help carry stuff back faster. It can kill enemies faster. Or it can help Pikmin kill enemies faster. But you really only want to use your Ultra Spicy Spray when you absolutely need it against hard bosses and stuff. And we will be seeing those, so be careful. Okay, though we'll get this back in time. Wait, that's the Nora Pixel we have carrying this thing. Uh, why don't we just end the day? It's gonna end anyway. Guess we can skip that. Yes, we got enough fruit. Dawn plus jewels. You got five types of fruit. Nicely done. There sure, there sure is a wide, there sure is a wide variety of fruit on this planet. I wonder what else is out there. Let's keep exploring. So the game will tell you periodically when you get different kinds of fruit or how much kind how many kinds of fruit you've obtained. Cupid's grenade. As I mentioned earlier. This one only gives it half. Disguised delicacy. Consume our juice as per usual. We do have plenty of juice left. So here are the stats. An ode to Captain Charlie. Oh, Captain Charlie, where could you be? Can you control your appetite? Will you teach me? For many years, I've seen you as a mentor. Oh, Captain Charlie, I, re I really need to work on my rhyming. 
Sorry about that. That kind of got stale. Yeah, I have no... I have no, like, action or emphasis in my voice or anything. What the fuck? It's what I hate about myself. I see myself as a very boring person. Actually, I really don't think very highly of myself at all, so... Exploration day six. And that concludes this episode of Pikmin 3. So next time on Pikmin 3, redundancy, we will be going back to this in Tundra and exploring even more than I did today. All we really did today is get fruit and all. But next time we're actually going to be getting stuff done. So I'll see you guys then.